Well, welcome back to episode two of the farm vlog series. In, episode, in this episode, we'll be looking at my Frisian bull calves. I'm just on the way down to feed them now. So it's around 11 o'clock on a Saturday. I think it's the 10th of November today. I'm just a little bit late today because I have rugby matches and training during the week, so a bit of a sleep in. Hey, we're coming up to them now. Well, this is two of them. These are two Frisians. They're, I think they're around 15 months out of the 16. They should be leaving either the end of this month or the start of next month. They're, they're looking well. They're definitely, definitely stumpy calves, that's for sure, but they have good straight back on them. Good bit of muscle. They'll hopefully be going to the mart or to the factory. Well, I've been sold for mints. See, they're friendly enough, to be fair, so... Let's get feeding. Oh, just kick in the silage, first of all, and then... I suppose I'll probably go, after I've done this, so I'll just go, go now to see, this is the other, there's two in there and there's eight in this far pen. There is three, oh great, <laughs> there's three small Frisians in this front pen and they have kindly knocked over their water. And then there is five in this back pen and they have kindly crap in the trash right so there's there's one Frisian who has got ringworm somehow and I have no idea how because none of the rest of them have it probably from the pen I'm guessing as we used to have calves in here previously but there's one Frisian there is there's that red one and this red one that's a short horn Frisian cross and then there's two I think they're Frisians but they might have some cross breeding in them because they have a Hereford cross with the spot black spot is different on them and they like to make an awful mess on the floor, as you can see here, just by tipping it over the lip of this trough. So we'll get this cleaned up. Alright, let's get grip. You see the photo, I'm just trying to look at the angle of the camera to see if it's right. I've got the camera positioned on top of my hat on the little hat clip, so if it is a bit wobbly, that's why. I apologise if it is. I'm trying to take everything a bit slower so the camera doesn't wobble. As you can see, they are completely starved because they knock about a quarter of the food onto the ground, which they could be eating. So it's not exactly my fault that they don't have food. But I've literally tried everything. I've not, I have three bags of old general purpose cement that have gone hard to prop this trough up because it just falls over at an angle. I suppose we'll just lift this last bit. I'm just topping up the trough now. I'll try to get it so it's sort of level with the top of the trough, not piling over because then I'll lose even more. Ah. I try to be as calm as possible with them, but sometimes I literally just go mental because they're not working with whatsoever. They don't move, they just stand there, stubborn as ever. And make me, I see they're just dropping it now and it drives me up the wall. So much extra time, which I shouldn't have to spend cleaning up. So, I hope to make these videos maybe every weekend because I literally have no time during the school week, because I'm at school five days a week. And it's dark now at about half four, so there's not, a, and I'm home. I have rugby four times a week, so I'm not home until like half six, so I can't make a video in the evenings. And the lights in here are very poor, as you can see. That one doesn't work, that one works, and that one barely works. Uh, so yeah, they get a 
Um, I think it's a 40 gallon drum I cut in half with a grinder, fill that with water. Those ones over there, they, they're March born, I think of 2018, of this year. So they're, they're, they're a lot younger, these are January or I think it might be December, some of them. So they're only getting, they're, they're getting one of my old toy boxes because I've run out of 40 gallon drums to put open. I'm thinking I might, I'll probably record a load of videos today in bulk. Just to make this process a lot easier. Uh, probably, I'll feed in the rest of this side. So there might be a machinery tour recorded today as well. So that'll be coming and I might just do, I have to wash the JCB kind of handler again today, so I might record that. Put it on time lapse, put it in to this video. So we'll sort of see how things plan out. You see, this grass is very fine. It's chopped for the digestion for about like six or eight mil, so it doesn't grip very well. I just have to go easy still. I need to get them a lot more anyway. We'll use the grape while we're here to get to get this to get this in. Oh, in here. That's the job. So now we're gonna go back to the fire shed and we'll bring bring the middle bucket. What we'll do first is we'll get the water. So, water comes from our spring and the well. And I have it, and I think I just hit the lens again, so apologies for that. But I have it on to have it tapped on, or have a tap attached on to this 2mm blue water pipe. It's just you've got the pipe comes in here, you've got your little white inserts put in the end of the blue pipe. And then you Tighten this, do the same on this end, cut a piece of blue pipe off, put your white insert in, put it in, tighten it. There's two o-rings in here that pressurize, keep it all pressurized. And the water runs out and it shouldn't, if it's done right, it shouldn't leak from here or that bottom end. So it's doing quite well now. It hasn't, I've had it in for about three weeks before I was just using a kink on the hose with a piece of rope. And they have dung in the trough, so I have to scrape that out as well before I feed them the meal. See, they're all on slats. I flushed out this tank maybe three weeks ago with a slurry tanker and it's, it's filled up rightly since. So I, only, I scrape them once a day in the evening because they're not too bad in the morning. You gotta clean out the troughs if there's dung in them. I clean out and I refill the water if there's dung in them too, but I, do not, I don't scrape in the morning because I don't have time before school anyway. But I, I, I could scrape on the weekends, but I, just, I don't bother. It's not really any well, it's not really any benefit to me, or benefit to the cattle either. They're clean for most of the time anyway. And the only reason they are quite dirty is because rain comes in off that tin roof that's spouting and runs onto the slats. The slats are quite wet during the winter, or wet for the majority of the time, because our weather is less than pleasing. So that's that blue yellow drum filled. Now we'll go back over to where the other two big freezings are and we'll fill up. That's the wheelbarrow squeaking. We'll go fill up the wheelbarrow silage and we'll we'll top up the, the big freezing silage here and then I'm sorry for that wheelbarrow, it's very, the wheel where the nut joins the wheel is very squeaky. Out of this plank of wood. We'll top up their silage first and then we'll go back around to the eight and give them their silage. Well, let's use this stuff on the floor first. But this, stuff, this, is the, this is our big digester bucket, by the way. We just, Dad, uh, he brings it over every morning and evening. So I don't have to trip slow over the pit with a wheelbarrow. Quite handy. We'll just clean this up first so there's not a lot of wastage. So we're just, we fill this, I fill this wheelbarrow up, then I go tip that there in front of that feeding gate. And then I fill the wheelbarrow again and take it around to the eight, fill into that trough you've seen previously, and then the little trough 
and beside and beside the yellow barrel. See in this silage there's potatoes, I filled potatoes into the pit last year and they were done this year and, and when they were buck raking and rolling for the digester so the cattle they, they like the potatoes so good for them too they get a bit of they get a bit of carbohydrate and starch out of their diet from the spuds so good job on that they're eating really about two wheelbarrows a day these two are about this size they go through i think the whole i've had them since february 27th and i think they go through about 10 ton of silage well the last two i had went through about 10 ton of silage for the time i had them that's around 30 pound a ton or Usually that's probably a lot higher for this because it's a lot drier, 32, 33 pound a ton. So looking about 300 pound, I'd be paying dad for this. I'd be paying him for the silage. I'd take that out of my profit anyway. Oh, we've had a good year for silage this year. It's nice and dry. This is, this is first cut from this year. Nice and dry, nice finely chopped, fermented well. Not that. Very little wastage. Very not, not a very easy compacted because there's not a lot of air space in between the, the silage particles because it's that finely chopped. Here, let me see in the comment. Tell me what the, you think of this little hat clip. If it's any good or I will go to the head strap. Or I've got the chest mount on as well today, so I could go to the chest mount. See, we'll just turn this round and I'll, I'll clean up this a little bit first. Clean up this, they can actually reach it and then I'll have to be exhausting themselves out through that feeding gate. Right in again. Oh. That's that sort, and they get water too in half. And wobbled a bit and a half 40 gallon drum in there behind that pallet it's got a good bit on it that should be okay until this evening i'll just push the camera back here in the hat a little bit so now these these two big calves they get maize meal very high in protein and energy as well as maize gluten nuts so that's i'm going to get the maize now there's a bit of gluten through it because that's just the the co-op they get it from, they mix the meal inside each other and there could be a bit of overlap or spillage into the bays. So that's why there's bays in here. So they get about, about three quarters of a bucket. And that does these two. They get about I think half of this, or a bit a bit over half of this and other. So they get the rest. So and then I mix in the maize gluten, which is here comes in this bag here, it just says beef mix, but it's just the gluten pellets. See, they're, they're quite fine, and there's sort of a powder in, along with them. Just some of them have been crushed. And I just mix this bucket in. Get it all nice and equal. around the bucket, loose that up again, right the rats from getting, clean out this trough, get my hands on it, and get this into this trough. So yeah, that'll do for the five, this will do for these two then just, I spread it out because they've bent the trough, so it needs to be flattened. Or you see there, they've already spilt some on the floor. Ah, yep. Keep them out of it a minute to actually get this flattened. Get a bit quick because they've got horns on them. I got them with horns and then we're, we never got round to dehorning them with the bull wire. So now we'll get the grape again and we'll head round to the eight Frisians again. And I'll pick up the camera again once I'm round there. Round with the eight Frisians. Just Hit the camera on again there. <coughs> right, so I'm going to scrape this trough out 
four and five. Oh, I have to get in over the gates. I think it was slowly so this camera mount doesn't wobble. Scrape this trough out for these five. There's the kind of left. Some dung in it. Job done. Head back over. And now I will put the meal in for these five. Ah, right. Stick the meal in for these five. Just up over the gate again. I try to get this in as quickly as possible and as evenly because they are very rowdy. Then we'll do a little bit more in there. Then just go hip, hip, hip. And let's try and even it out. And I'm getting licked from behind now by these couple. That'll do them. Hup. I'm just realizing I've run out of run out of calf starter. So I can get a bag. There's a bag, this is what this is what these small three usually get. I think they've they've had they've had four bags of it now, I don't know. Actually they've had but six bags of it. It's Thompson's calf starter. Just a uh, what is it? Uh, it's calf pride wiener mix. Just try to get them once they've had the milk. Just try to get them on to meal. Just start them off on meal. Once they've eaten a good few bags of this, you can put them on to meal, like the maize and the gluten. So these calves are only maybe a month or two months older. I think two months. And they're right there. They love that meal. They, they don't have a problem eating that. But you see, there's a. This is very digestible meal. See, it's made up of maize flakes, wheat feed, barley, rake pea, flake bean, soya, holes, sugar, cane molasses, soya bean feed. And a lot of other words that I'd find hard to pronounce, but that's what they're on. Well, that's what they should be on. But I think they'll, they're, they're off that now, so I'll come back to you once I've got the maize and gluten for them, because I didn't come think I had to get it. the meal for the, the three. May have got a little too much, but this should do them for tonight as well. Try and get this in quite evenly too. Probably get a bit more. Hip. Yep. That'll do them because probably take them a lot longer to digest. This maze. I'm apologies if the camera hits the calves, or I hit something, or it falls off. Just push it on again. Come on, hip. Try and get it. An even spread each cows sort of getting a, an even amount so that's that in well, so when I move on to putting the silage see like look how fast they've eaten that and I put a good bit in there we'll put in the majority of this wheelbarrow into this trough make an even bigger mess than the calves do this trough for them I'll pick that bit out and it's falling over this. <laughs> so this is debatable who makes the bigger mess, me or the <laughs> usually it's the calves because I clean my mess up and they don't. <laughs> I think there's there's definitely second cut grass mixed in here. It's it was a bit wetter. It was no I think third I third cut grass. I got it about in the middle of October. It was definitely a bit wetter than second and first. Weren't so lucky, but still good. We've, we're mixing them the, for the digester to keep her performing up at 500 kilowatts. This video is definitely gonna be longer than the first draining one. Cause I looked at the library there, and I've I must have nine or I think I've must have 15 minutes of footage already. I'm just feeding. So there will be another video. I'll be filming today. It'll be next week's video with the machinery tour. So. And then I think I've got revision to do, so I think I'll only get that video filmed today. And possibly might film or time lapse washing the, the telehandler, put that up as like a maybe how to drive. 54170 Agri Pro telehandler. And I just I push the silage down on this lip. You can see it there just so they, they push over less. Always oh, this red one leaves the meal comes to the silage. And push it in an angle, so it's pushed in towards the back. 
that sort of does and then I'll fill in this this little trough, half of this trough now with sedge for them, this does them to the evening then I fill it full once they finish the meal in the evening and they'd be culprits too, they'd knock it out onto the slats that's just extra food for the rats, <laughs> no pun no rhyme intended there but fast the borrow I drop a wee bit too but not as much as them so. Say it, all these calves I've got they, I keep them for around usually about 10 or oh, a year or 10 10 to 12 months depending on what age you got them and they'll be around 16 months when they finish with me 17 possibly 15 and they should be around 550 to 600 kilos or over that's what I'm looking for those two big Frisians, they should be going next month at one's 530 and one's 480 so they are a bit they're a bit short but they gain about a kilo or three quarters of a kilo a day well they, that's what they should be gaining realistically so they should be they might be five five sixty kilos and around what 510 520 so they should they're not too far off and they shouldn't be too far off when they're done but I'll just have to see. I see there's a bit of silage in the ground there, but I don't really fancy getting there because I always end up picking up calf dung. We'll leave this barrow here with the, and this meal here, it'll do for the evening feeding. And they've got water, so everyone's fed up now. So, hope you enjoyed this video. There will, next week's video should be coming out next Saturday or Sunday, possibly Monday if I don't get it edited, but it'll be on machinery tour. And then the following week's video might be of washing the jcb depends if we get it done or not so thank you for watching and i'll see you back for episode three